Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video I'll show you how to use your multi-pick list cells force with the drop-down element while you set your drop-down element manually in Form Titan. So let's head over to our elements and search for drop-down and throw that in there. So you can see that the drop-down comes in with first choice, second choice, third choice automatically which you can remove and add and change them as you like. So let's call this third, and let's say I want to sync it with this account field. I have an account named multi-picklist, and I want to sync it with this one. So we already covered the option where you can sync it automatically from Salesforce, but let's say you don't want all the items, you want some of the items, and you want to determine it manually. Let's take a look at our um, field, uh, field information. So this is our field multi-pick list and we have the values and the API name. Pay attention to the API name. So let's say that what I want is when someone selects first choice, I want it to use Sunday and second choice Monday and third I want it to push Tuesday. So what I gotta do is head over to advanced and click on the advanced values configure. And the only thing I gotta do is change the values into my API names. And Tuesday for the third. You can obviously change the label to be the same. And the value, uh, the most important thing is that you grab your API name of the pick list values. Okay, so obviously you can change the label to match your API name, but I'm just showing you how you can do this dynamically even though the label in Form Titan is different. So we'll apply this. Um, let's add an account uh, text field for the account name. I'm going to call this account name. And let's uh, add a push. And we'll create an account, no conditions. Just map our fields, account name, and we'll map our multi pick list into our drop down. And we will map it into the drop down value. We'll apply and finish. We'll save our form. Let's publish it. And we'll call this manual dropdown. And we'll select. Oh, one thing I forgot to set up. Since it's a multi pick list, then we head over to our um, drop down element settings and we're saying it's a multiple selection. Save our form. Refresh. And we'll call this manual drop. And we'll select first and Tuesday. If you don't want the other, then you just get rid of the add other and save it and it's not going to show up and we'll submit. Let's head over to our integration logs and take a look at the account that we just created. So we'll head over to details so we can see that the account name is manual drop and our pick list values is Sunday and Tuesday. Since we selected the first choice and Tuesday. And this is how it's done. 